we did a little bit last week with the saw. Huh? There was three stages of uh, uh, what's called an inquiry. The first one is ho-hum, the next one is so-hum, and then the sahang is the more in-depth practice and techniques for going deeper into yourself, actually for helping to delete uh, thoughts in your mind that don't belong there, that don't have any purpose, which we're looking at piece by piece. So, breathe a little bit to center yourself in the feeling, and then you engage the verbal part of your mind, and you use the sounds, ho hum. Ho and hum. Literally, it means, or it's usually translated as, who am I? But I would change that slightly to, what am I? Because who is an attribute of your personality and your ego and your your role in the world. And the inquiry is to take us deeper into what exactly are we and why are we here. So we are not the mind. We are sending these inquiries through the mind. But the mind can sometimes open up and let the answers come shining through. Just give you a little visual thing. Imagine a ball of energy and the energy is basically consciousness. It's a sphere of consciousness. This is the reality, the essence of what we are. That reality takes on the mind, the memory,
watching if the mind wants to jump out somewhere else. And you bring it back. Relax your co-arms. Was, was that doable? Yeah. That was already a couple of minutes of keeping our mind focused, keeping our consciousness focused through the mind and making these two sounds. These simple little exercises are developing our ability to control that verbal process, which, as I mentioned last time, last week, usually given over to that which Shakini, who is quite good at keeping the ball rolling with all kinds of ideas and thoughts and explanations. Explanations. Explaining what you are doing. When you have a thought coming up, a little image, a memory coming up, a picture of something that happened, she will jump right in and start talking about it, explaining it to you. Learning to catch her in the act. You can see the image, and you can remember the whole thing without any thinking, without the verbal process kicking in. And this is where you start to realize verbal process, this um, ongoing game of shakini is, is a lot of uh, time energy wasted. And let's recall that the verbal process activates hypothalamus, pituitary, we're already right in our little laboratory up in our brain making these brain chemicals that are going to influence everything in our lives from our health to manifestation of what we would like to see or be in our lives. So the idea of getting in touch with this and looking at how does she do this is a big part of the process. Take another deep breath, center back in feeling. Your mind will already roll on thinking about what I just said and comparing it to other things and Take that back, take a breath, and feel. We're going to be sending you some more questions to be asking to yourself after this class. Going into the different chakras, the different uh, thought forms, memories, and realities kind of contained within the realm of each of the chakras in your being. In looking at the first chakra, of course, we, we touched on this already somewhat, looking at what has happened in your life and at this level, we need to look at anything that has been kind of traumatic and negative experiences and looking at, you know, the, the kind of childhood we had as to whether it was, it was good, it was safe, you felt comfortable, you felt appreciated. 
or in the opposite case where you were kind of neglected, your parents were always busy, always working, always drunk, whatever the scene is. And we talked about these realities of your early childhood, set the stage, this is the foundation of your belief system. And you look at the world after that and make a comparison to how safe things are or not, how stable, how much of a loving presence you feel and you have and you can give to others. Keep the breath going. Now the second stage of that koha is called so hum. And it goes from what am I to I am that which is. The only thing that is in the reality is this consciousness. Everything else is temporary, everything comes and goes, your thoughts are coming and going, your feelings are changing all the time as you go through life. But your consciousness is moving through all of these experiences. And so hum is associating yourself with this consciousness. So we're going to take another few minutes and breathe again. And in our heads, we can start connecting this a little bit with the breath just to integrate it a little bit more. And breathing is this flow of prana one way and the other. There's the breath in and out. It's uh, how we integrate things. And we can learn to use the breath in this way that is very helpful in putting it all together, assimilating information, and creating a, a feeling out of the reality. So that's not just the thought, but there is a feeling associated with it. And this makes a reality out of a thought. It becomes an experience. Take a few breaths, and with the inhalation, so. With the exhalation, the breath and the sound connected to the breath. So, in breath, hum, out breath. Check how you're doing with your attention, with your mind kind of deviating you. And you keep, keep it on track, which usually means bringing it back. It will try and escape. Note how you're doing. I all have a turn talking about this.
concentration into your body and let's just move our body a little bit. It's all connected. We're doing all forms of yoga. If you try and challenge the mind too much, it will rebel. Come up with greater obstacles to put in your path. So go gently with it. We're just inquiring. We're trying to make friends with this witch shakini, with the verbal part that is ongoing explaining. We we'll also want to explain to you about the koham and so on, so that you start thinking about it. Do some gentle, easy movements of your choice. So now our focus is really on the sensations and the feeling. There's nothing to explain about this. It's the immediate experience. take a whole lot to kind of reactivate the body and to recenter ourselves and feel it. Come back to the third part, which is going into the saw and the hum. So the hum from an M goes into an NG. And so becomes saw. going deeper into what we are and the sound of hung those of you have done uh, other studies with us hung is the seed sound for Vishuddha Chakra Vishuddha Chakra is the center of your intellectual mind the part that is doing this verbal thinking the part that wants knowledge and information and likes thinking about it so it has a lot to do with your the state of your ego, your identity, what you know, the things you think about, your memories and your own knowledge bank, which we're always in the process of uh, playing with in random thinking. So this is associated then with our exhalation. We played with this a little bit last week. We're just doing it again and, and kind of deepening our understanding of this process. The saw I mentioned has to do with the uh, sounds of inhalation in the universe. And how many living creatures do breathe? And this breathing phenomena is an expansion contraction that's part of life in general. All things go through these pulsations, these time cycles, and we take it into our breath and our heartbeat. So we also went as far as going a little bit to the right and to the left. Or you like it the other way. Your right and your left. With the saw, the inhalation, we're tapping back into this force of energy which stimulates the inhalation. Let's do that first. I'll add a couple of other tidbits of information after. So you're breathing in, breathing out. You're observing how well you're breathing, taking that into a nice and deep place.
active way. Breathing in saw all the way until you're full. Hung until you're completely empty. Every breath, you might have to reestablish this process. The monkey mind is quite strong and quite capable of kind of seducing you out of this, bringing up an image, an idea, feeling, and starting another chain of thoughts. So you reestablish, you feel the breath. Deepen it, you add the sound. You may have to do this 108 times. Long term, you may have to do it 100, 108,000 times to really eliminate all the unnecessary thoughts in your mind. Still here. Bring in a sense of feeling with a vision of now going back and forth side to side in your head. So you're going to the right side. Hung, you're going to the left. You can see this if you want, like a, a pendulum swinging through your brain cells. You're kind of holding the pendulum at the top with this magnetic feature of mind and letting the pendulum swing from side to side. As it goes to the right, it's going with the sound of sa. As it goes to the left, hung. time there's a little mental deviation, the easiest thing to do is switch back to feel it. Feel the next breath you're taking. Make yourself take it deeper and then put the sounds back into place. going to 
extended by bringing a little long held in breath at each end. So you're inhaling fully with the sound of saw and then you're pausing, holding it in. And you exhale with the sound hung going over to the left. And you hold empty. We are going towards Savitri with this. stay on track and when you're doing the health and you're not making the sound 